Hey guys, what is up? It is Mike Christopher and welcome to my new YouTube channel. I know I've made a million of these in the past and I know that I basically screwed up every single one by jumping to the next and you know, and that's not good because then I lose subscribers and I lose fans and stuff, but this is going to be the channel where I officially post everything and I mean literally everything. I'm going to go from posting stuff like this to challenge videos, to videos with my friends, videos of me playing video games, vocal covers, uh, full covers with my new band, which I'll get to talking about in later episodes and later videos and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is my new YouTube channel. It originally took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do with this channel, or at least the first video. Um, and I'm kind of glad of where I decided on. Um, a lot of people, when they come to my channel, it's usually just from the same... It's just because I told them to half the time. I'm like, hey, you should check out my stuff. So I might as well start my first video with 10 things you didn't know about me, even though possibly some of you don't know anything about me, and that's totally cool. But now you get to learn more, and if you're a friend of mine or just watching this, now you get to learn some stuff about me that you possibly did not know, or you probably do know because I never shut up about half of them. All right, we're going to start with the first thing. Um, the first thing is I was afraid of swimming and basically water in general until I was about 20 years old. In fact, I believe it was on my 20th birthday where I actually started to swim. And that's, a lot of people might go, dude, that's weird, especially since I live in Florida. So there's water literally everywhere. Everybody I know has a fucking pool. I now am in a house that has one, living with my girlfriend or whatever, and... We have a pool, and that's basically how I learned. It was the summer of last year, and, like, her and her friend just kept trying to get me to learn, and I refused. I didn't want to go anywhere near the deep end. The shallow end was even scary for me because I always worry about slipping. But now I'm really not afraid of the pool because I have been able to keep myself up on the deep end and not, like, sink right to the bottom, which used to be the case with everything. Like, there was no way... They didn't tell me to tighten my core. If you know how to swim, you need to tighten your core. I didn't know to fucking do that. They were like, you gotta stay relaxed. Be relaxed. How How is tightening a part of your body relaxing your body? My hair looks like complete shit. It always does, though, so whatever. <laughs> Another thing about me, the second thing. Um, I started doing the heavier vocal style, the screams, at age 14. But I didn't actually start singing until about, I guess, 18, 19. Um, I'm sorry if my voice sounds really nasally. I'm still recovering from a cold, but I just, I cannot wait to start this YouTube channel any longer. The YouTube channel any longer. I said that really quick. Anyway, um, yeah. Um, so if you're wondering how long I've been doing vocals, I've been doing vocals technically for about six years, going on seven. Um, and that's just the heavier ones. The singing vocals, singing is a lot harder than screaming because there's a lot more to it. Screaming is like you that you learn the technique and then you just practice it over and over and over again. I've gotten messages from people going, hey, how long did it take you to learn the, you know, vocal style that you do on the Fallen? Um, but that took me, the low vocals took me like about three years. The highs took me about half a year. I've just, I've mastered them over time. Um, these are probably as good as my vocals are going to get, which is sad because I don't know, like, I haven't evolved, my voice hasn't changed in the past, like, year, no matter how hard I try doing different techniques and stuff. I just completely shift my hair from this side to this side, now it's the exact same thing. I'm just gonna let it dangle here. That looks stupid. Another thing about me, um, I have three brothers and three sisters. Um, I have a lot of siblings, I fuck with my hair a lot, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I keep bringing it up in this video, just... Oh my god, I can see it, and it just looks horrible every single time I change it. It might not look horrible to you guys, but to me it does. Um, but yeah, I am the runt of the litter. I am literally the smallest member, and I'm the youngest. I'm 20 years old, my sister is 23, about to be 24, I'm about to be 21. My other brothers are all in their 30s, and my, sister, my older sisters are about, I believe one of them just hit 30, and the other one's like 27, 28. Uh, but yeah, I am the youngest, and I'm the smallest. I am only 5 foot 3. Go aw, uh, you can talk shit, talk about how short I am, I don't care. I've grown to accept my height, and I just deal with it. A lot of people complain, saying, how do you get a girlfriend? You're only 5'3". There's a lot of girls shorter than 5'3". Not to mention, you know, just other things. But yeah, I am, I am the smallest, and I am probably the loudest, which is I believe is normal. But yeah. I am the smallest member of my family, and I am the youngest. That's a fact. 
here's another one related to music. Um, I have had three different bands my whole life, which a lot of people are like, oh, that's not that much, which it kind of isn't. Um, but I've retained the same guitar player throughout all uh, three bands, and it's been Jace the entire time. The first band I was in, they were called Obscure Constellations. I was not the vocalist. I was the bass player. Um, this is before I was officially confident enough with my voice, um, but I knew how to play bass perfectly. Not perfectly. I wasn't that good. But I was able to keep up with the style they were doing, which is more of like a metalcore, post-hardcore project. Uh, and um, that's where I met Jace. He was the guitar player for my friend Chris, who did my tattoo that's up here, which I'll show you guys one day after I get more tattoos, because I don't want to do a, here's my tattoos video, and only have two, you know, tattoos. Uh, but yeah, um, that was it, was, it was weird. Me and Jace, we talked on the internet a couple of times, like, he sent me files, stuff to learn on bass, and I was like, okay, cool, and I learned them. Um, but the cool part about everything was, was when uh, Jace and I just finally met in person. Like, there was, like, an instant connection. We were like, oh, my God, I just met my best friend. And ever since then, I've just, everything's worked out with him. After Obscure Constellations broke up, I said I wanted to be a vocalist. But I had a best friend at the time. His name was Johnny. And he he knew how to play guitar somewhat. He wasn't that great. But I wasn't that great at vocals. We didn't, our drummer wasn't that good. We had, we started off with a girl drummer. Her name was Ashley. Very nice person. Uh, and she left, uh, we technically kicked her out, because we found another guy, Thomas, um, and he, he was just a little bit better, not that much better, and he sucked. He was a terrible drummer. No offense, Thomas, you were bad if you watched this. I don't know if you ever will, you probably talk shit about me from all my old videos with your friend Kevin. <laughs> uh, that's another story for another day, and not trying to start any drama. But, uh, yeah, um, looks like this thing's tilting. Uh, but yeah, that's that for the, uh, we were in a band called Massive Aggressive, which is named after a municipal waste album. It was Johnny's idea, and I agreed with it because I just wanted to be a vocalist of a band. Um, and then me, I added Jace in later, because I was like, Jace, we needed another guitar player to fill out our sound. And he was like, okay, so we had we had a full band, technically. Um, we had a bass player, but we kicked him. He was Aiden, who became the bass player of Beyond a Lifetime. Um, and Beyond a Lifetime is what I'm basically mainly known for, hence the Beyond a Butthole uh, page name. I named it that as a joke. Uh, I changed it recently, if you haven't noticed. Now it's Rolo Promotions, because I'm going to be promoting bands. How cute. But yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. I've kept all three bands, same guitar player each time. Surprised he doesn't hate me. <laughs> Another thing is, uh, here's number five. Um, I haven't genuinely lived with my parents or family since I was like 17 years old. I mean, I've lived there, but I haven't lived there, if you know what I mean. Um, when I turned 17, I started dating this girl, and I just, that entire year, I basically just stayed at her house, or most of it. Um, I would go home, I came home like maybe once a month, and then I, I, or when I would go to school, I'd come there like two days out of the week, and then I'd be like, yeah, I'm staying the night. And they didn't, my parents were cool with it. They were like, you know, you're older, you know, we're getting older, you're, you're okay with it. Um, and then after she and I broke up, I stayed there for a couple months. I was living there, you know, every day, and I was fine with it. I loved my family. Um, then I started dating this other girl, and my mother passed away. We'll get into that a whole nother day. You don't have to go R or say anything sad. Uh... And then we, uh, then I just, I moved in with my girlfriend, and then I lived with her for a long time. I lived with her for about a year, about. And then we broke up, and then I moved back with my father, but then I started coming over to here, and I started hanging out here, and I've basically lived here since last year, summer. So yeah, I haven't really genuinely lived with my father in a while. I mean, I've been there, like, for a couple days and then left, but in the end, I just... His house, and mm, I didn't mix well with his you know, house. And stuff. Here's one a lot of people actually might find interesting. Um, I am a huge caffeine addict, but not in the coffee or energy drink sense. I love energy drinks. Oh my god, I hate coffee, though. Like, you'll the only coffee you'll ever get me drinking is iced coffee, and even then I'm kind of like, eh, to it. Um, I'm really big into soda, and it's probably not good because I will have no teeth by the time I'm like 35. Um even though I'm going to start taking better care of my teeth. Uh, I should probably start doing that soon, considering, you know, I've been drinking nothing but soda since I was, like, five. Um, 
But yeah, um, I actually prefer my singing voice with the sound of soda, which a lot of people go, ew, your voice is going to crack and stuff. Um, and yeah, it does weaken your voice, which is a proven fact. It's actually very bad to drink uh, soda. It's one of the worst things you can drink next to milk and stuff. Um, I don't know why. It's just I prefer what my voice so my voice sounds like, especially if it gets a little weaker. Um, I huge problem I have is I sing usually more powerful, but I don't know. I usually just it makes it sound weaker. If you are getting like if you ever listen to any of my old vocal covers, I usually sound like I'm on pitch, but I sound off. Um, and that's usually my problem is I like I don't relax my voice enough. But uh, I'm learning to help out with that, which is one reason why I haven't posted a cover yet. I'm working on my voice a little bit more before I do that. I might post a heavy cover, but uh, yeah, I mean, even right now, drinking soda, not going to show the brand because I might end up making money off this video one day if I'm, you know, ever considered cool enough. Uh -oh, I'm gonna get in trouble for the board game right there, uh, but yeah, um, but yeah, that's one thing I prefer how my voice sounds while I drink soda rather than drinking water. Has to be warm soda though. Cold soda will fucking ruin me. All right, um, number seven. Um, people might give me crap for this. Um, I don't believe if you're a musician, you should play your favorite genre of music. Um, and a huge reason why I believe that, I've always thought that, even when I started, which is one reason why I didn't mind playing a th being like a th in a thrash band. I hate thrash, but um, I understand how it works. Um, I believe that if you play a genre that you, it's like your favorite music genre, it like, your creativity is diminished somewhat because you're trying to sound just like the genre you like. Like, for instance, a lot of bands that start pop punk are like, they're like, man, I love All Time Low, and I love, you know, I love Blink-182, and they end up sounding just like those bands, or I like Neck Deep and State Champs, they end up sounding just like those bands, and it's not a bad thing, dude, it's good for you guys, you guys sound like how you want to sound, but I feel like it takes some creativity away, that's the only reason why, um, like, take for instance, I don't really like Deathcore that much, um, even though I've mainly been in a Deathcore band. Um, I think deathcore is a fun genre, but my favorite genre is ska punk, which we'll get into in a minute. Uh, like, so yeah, uh, I like ska punk music, but I play in a deathcore band because I, I feel like it gives me more creativity because I'm not trying to mimic other people or what they've done. I hope that makes sense. All right, number eight, and this one's kind of personal. Um... I'm openly bisexual, and I've been bisexual and openly about it since I was 14 years old. Um, I learned I was bisexual, and I started dating this one girl who wanted to be a guy. So I shouldn't even have called her a girl. She was a guy, openly saying it. Um, and I was just, I was very attracted, and I was very and I was very much into said person. And yeah, um, ever in she when she, whenever they told me that they wanted to be a guy, I said okay, I'm totally okay with that. I don't mind if you have a penis. I care for you a lot, and I realize I really don't care. Like I check out everybody. <laughs> like I know that sounds horrible, but like I look at a guy and I'll be like, that's a very attractive guy. I would I would put my mouth on him. <laughs> like I would kiss that face. So whenever like like that's one cool thing about being bisexual, especially if your partner's also bisexual, is. You can look at people, like, some, not all the time, depends, like, some people do get jealous, but me and my girlfriend, we will look at, like, guys and go, oh my god, that guy's so hot, or, like, we'll look at girls and go, oh my god, that girl is so fucking hot, it, like, it happens all the time, like, we'll go to, like, we went up, we went to that, a lot of people saw my tweets of how I went to the Set It Off Tonight Live show, we were go, we were looking at, like, Jenna and going, oh my god, she's so hot, and then Cody would come on, we'd be like, Cody's pretty attractive, and we look at Max, their drummer, and we're like, oh my god, God, this guy is so good looking. Holy crap. Take me. Uh, it's it's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, random fact, I'm bisexual. Here's one I'm pretty sure a lot of people actually do know about me, which is very obvious judging from the amount of times I've covered these, like this band specifically. My favorite band of all time is Asking Alexandria. I've I don't know why they were the first heavy band I got into. They were the first band I like was like, oh my god, I can feel this shit. And it was, it was like not the American average and stuff back in the day. And I was like feeling like ever since then I've been like so addicted to all their music, including, including the terrible, you know, horrible undivided song that they released with Dennis. I love it. I 
every everything they've released up until now, even with Dennis, I've completely been a, I've been completely fine with. I love Dennis. I think Dennis is a great addition to the band, and I'm up. People were like, "Oh, how are you gonna like it now that Danny's gone?" Like, I'm like, now I get two albums. I get We Are Harlot with Danny. I technically I get three because Danny has a solo project. I get. I get three albums, now. I get We Are Harlot, Danny's Project, and I get Asking Alexandria. I could not be any more happy with it. But yeah, um, even though Asking Alexandria is my favorite band, my favorite genre is ska punk. With my favorite ska punk band probably being Streetlight Manifesto. Um, but yeah, there's that, if that's kind of cool for you guys. Uh, that's, that's one thing you can know about me. I'm a huge ska punk nerd. Sue me. Uh, yeah, like that's like one of my favorite genres. It's definitely my favorite genre. Uh, but my favorite band is not a ska punk band. Figure that one out. I've kind of run out of creativity, so here's my last one. Um, my first concert I ever went to, concert, it was, um, I believe at State Theater, it was 2010, so excuse me if my memory is kind of cloudy, um, but it was an Alisana show, and it was probably the best show I've ever been to that was, like, considerably harder music, um, so yeah, it was. It, Alisana killed it. They always kill it. Um, they're easily one of my. They're one of my favorite post hardcore bands. And like they, they, the cool thing about Alisana is they like conquer every genre they touch. The second they touch a genre, it's like, bam, they've got it down. They must. They they practice. They must practice so much. But there's no way. But yeah, um, that's it. That's my top ten uh, little facts about me. Um, I kind of realize now I'm like, I'm doing the traditional YouTuber thing. I'm bisexual. Don't take that as that. Um, a lot of people get upset about that sort of thing and think it's just a view thing. Um, it's not. I just felt like that was an interesting fact. Uh, but yeah, those are my 10 facts. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, you can, you know, I don't even know where the thing is now. I don't really keep up with that. I use my phone. So just click down there, up there, over here, over here, down there, over here, left side, that side. I don't care. Wherever the subscribe button is, if you enjoy it, you can subscribe. Um, and if, you know, you don't feel like doing that, well, that's fine too, I guess. Hurt my feelings. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Um, this has been uh, my top 10 facts about me. I expect more videos to come. Um, my first game it's probably going to be Final Fantasy VII, uh, so if you like that game, that's cool. I just got it for, like, free on PSN or whatever, so I'm just going to record it with that and then post those videos. So, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next time. It'll probably be in a few days. Later.